Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Uh, happy Tuesday as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini uh, Absolute Football Fat Pack Break number 10. It's a random division break. I'm going to chase some kabooms right here. Everyone gets a random division in the NFL. No vet commons ship. I mean, basically we're just chasing those inserts and rookie cards. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Did I get the right set of names here? I did. Nice. Yeah. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times for names and divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 11th and final time. After 11, we've got Jose down to Brian. John, welcome. First time here, first time in the new year. Welcome. 11 times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 and 11th and final time. Good luck. We got the AFC West on top down to the NFC East. All right, Jose with the AFC West, Gail with the AFC South, Keanu with the AFC East, AJ with the NFC South, Roy with the NFC West, David with the NFC North, Cam with the AFC North, and Brian with the NFC East. Let's sort these alphabetically by division. Let's box these up, center it up here. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any division trades, and then we'll have that five box break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. A uh, little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. But big thanks to everybody who got into Five Box Fat Pack Random Division number 10 Absolute Football. We have Hobby Edition on the site as well. Uh, pick your team if anybody's interested in joining that, finishing that off. So basically, this is where all those retail packs come from. They, they, they pop out of these type of boxes right here. So these are the ones that we'll be doing. This will take a minute or two, ladies and gentlemen. If you check the schedule, you'll see when the next available break time slot will be. Um, we've got the 2020 Heisman Trophy presentation happening, ladies and gentlemen. Who does everyone have in this? It's probably gonna be Trevor Lawrence, right? Is that, is that the chalk pick? What's the not chalk pick? I don't watch too much college football. I should, as much as I love the NFL games. But... Is there a not chalk pick here? Devonta Smith? That's the Alabama wide receiver, right? Yes, AJ. Oh, you must have missed me saying that. Yeah, I said. Uh, I said at least you'll get still get all those Bradys. I think the standing order is still we should no vet common ship in this break except for Brady and uh, Mahomes basically. Kiana says this year doesn't count yet. It was a was a weird year. I was hearing on the, I think I did, I did watch the semifinal games. No, check that. Maybe I was watching a different game. Someone announcer was saying that he had heard from some coaches that Devonta Smith, Alabama coaches are saying Devonta Smith may be the best wide receiver they've ever seen, which is a big statement considering all the wide receivers they've seen. And just in college in general, it would with all that coaching experience there. but There you go, Jared Goff, will he play? I don't know. Obviously these these green parallels will ship. And then we've got Devin Asiasi, Clyde edwards Lair for the Chiefs, AFC West. Going out to practice every day, 
I don't know why these are flipped around. These don't seem like they're anything different, but obviously they will all ship. Inserts, of course, will ship like those two. But we're really looking for, for the big names right here. It's Chase Young. Chase Young is probably defensive player of the year, rookie of the year. I guess he could be defensive player of the year as well. There's Chase Young Green. These are all for the NFC uh, East. Brian with that with those. Josh Jacobs with that DUI. Come on, Josh. You should know better. There's our first Joe Burrow. Sorry about that. There's like the Fitzgerald right here. Joe Burrow going to the AFC North. Cam Kelly with that one. There's Joe Burrow again. In insert. There's Raekwon Davis to 149. Dolphins AFC East. AFC East will be Keanu. Jordan Brooks. There's our first Justin Herbert. Not a surprise that uh, Anthony Lynn was fired, as he should have been. So now it'll be interesting to see. Will the Spanos family get a good coach? Will they pay for a good coach? You know, will they will they pay for a top coach so they don't so they don't waste Justin Herbert's career like they did with Philip Rivers? A lot of coaching vacancies. Who else got fired? Adam Gase was done. Pretty much just moments after the season was completed, they were like, yeah, he's done. He's out. He didn't waste any time. Doug Peterson gets fired. Doug Peterson? Yeah, boss man. How do you how do you how do you feel about them putting in Nate Sudfeld at the end of that well, I mean, at the end of a winnable game? He just wanted to give Nate, you know, basically he's didn't get cut anyway. <laughs> they, they had him he for four years. They they know what they got out of him. But Giants suck. Yeah, no, it's the NFC East down down year for the yeah. NFC East. No, no one can be happy in that division. Yeah, as long as Dallas is out, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Was our first Tua, AFC East. Well, Patricia was out a while ago. Who who just got fired recently? Gase is out. Um, Anthony Lynn is out. I feel like there was one more coach that was head coach that was fired. Maybe not. Maybe those are the two main ones after Week Seventeen. Oh yeah, Jacksonville, right? The Jacksonville released. Right, Jags coach, Jags coach. Why? Why would? Why would Saban leave? He's got such a cush job. Why would he leave? He's getting paid so much money. Pete Carroll had a great thing in the scene until he got caught cheating and stuff. And then he had to leave, right? Doing shenanigans. Then he had to leave. I mean, Pete Carroll win us won a Super Bowl. Yeah, but he's also got a lot of talent. Too. Yeah, it's true. Last generation. 
All right, so there was, there was a Jalen Hurts rookie card going to the NFC East, Brian Croft. Picks for the Super Bowl. John, we've got a long ways to the Super Bowl. Why don't let, let's let's think about let's think about the wild card. No, people want to talk Super Bowl. AJ says Bills to win it all. Bills have to get by Indianapolis. Colts have a sneaky good defense. Bill, Bills defense kind of gives up a lot of points, but but of course the Bills offense can get those points back pretty quickly. Keanu would like to see a Bills Seahawks matchup. On Mosaic Football, does all card shift? Forgot to check. I don't know. What does it say in the? Oh, the item description is not. I have no idea. I don't remember. Um, I would look at the video, see if uh, Jason showed the showed the uh, the page, the product page, or maybe he said it in the uh, in the break. Oh, there was a silver clay pool put in a common stack? Oh, well, our sorting team ship separates all those out anyway. Yeah, we have we have multiple redundancies here, Josh. To, to make sure that everything gets sorted out quickly and accurately. Arthur saying Eagles players reportedly had to be restrained from confronting Doug Peterson after he pulled Hurts. Wow. Yeah, they're gonna have to. Eagles are gonna have to do a lot of work in the off season. I don't know if Doug Peterson's gonna get fired though. He he took him to a Super. He won a Super Bowl. Just what a two, two, three, three years ago. So, I think he's got a little bit more of a leash. Fans want him gone. And so he's he's not he's not going to survive. Bossman, who's a big Eagles fan, is is saying the fans in Philly are pissed that this will not stand. Gavin saying Doug and Howie both returning already confirmed. Well, we'll see if that lasts the off season. Well, Wentz is definitely gone. Wait, and Hurts? Oh, and just go from scratch, just get a ton of draft picks? Wow. That could be interesting. Well, that way everyone kind of grows up together and they get kind of paid together and stuff. It's easier for finances, I would think. Man, that would be, that'd be crazy. Gavin, you don't think if Wentz is gone as of yet? I mean, the writing's on the wall. He's a healthy scratch. The way he, um, that, how much he's getting paid, he's a healthy scratch. There's Jalen Hurts. They got Jalen Hurts. He was clearly a quarterback of the future. It's either Wentz or Peterson. They're not both staying. Right. No, Wentz has to be gone. I think maybe we'll see how the Colts do in the playoffs. But I think uh, I think Frank Reich definitely wants to maybe be reunited with with Carson Wentz. All these Tom Brady's will ship to the NFC South, but I'll save save one right here. 
Joshua saying, what's crazy, if Trevor Lawrence doesn't go first and the Jets keep Darnold as our next team that would need a QB would be Patriots. Now, I have a hard time believing the Jets... Well, I have a hard time believing that... Well, Trevor Lawrence has to go first, right? Trevor Lawrence would have to go to the Jags at number one. You got to think that the Jets are taking the next available quarterback at two. You don't want to hand, you know, as a division rival, if the Patriots are in three, you don't want them to get a potentially franchise changing quarterback. You don't want to give them that opportunity. Basically, if you're the Jets, you have to spy on the Patriots and see, do some corporate espionage and find out who they're going to take, what quarterback they like the best, and then take that quarterback. Nick thinks Darnold is fine. Just get a better coach. Yeah, Darnold did did not have any weapons last year either, so he could use some of that too. Who's who's that offensive lineman that like from Oregon or something like that, right? He's like a he's like a classic like like left guard or something like that who's gonna protect any quarterback. Sewell, right? Some guy named some kid named Sewell. Another two right there. Gavin's saying all rebuilding teams got to do what the Chargers did: get all the pieces before the QB. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Which is why I think. All the people who are like, oh, Raiders should get a QB, Raiders should get I think the Raiders are kind of doing that same thing. They want to get all the pieces. No one wants that car contract anyway. Get all the pieces, you know, see if they can still extract something out of Derek Carr, you know, and then if not, the car contract will just naturally expire in a few years, and then they'll have a, a team ready for either a vet quarterback or a a rookie quarterback, probably most likely a vet quarterback, knowing John Gruden, but a vet quarterback to kind of slot right in there and, and then go from there. Yeah, on one hand, I do agree, Nick. I, I think I think it's I think it's hard to judge Sam Darnold on a season like this where he has no weapons and a and a coach that ultimately got fired. But can you pass on? Could you could the Jets pass on a top quarterback? I don't know. We'll see. Um, well, let's talk about Saturday games really quick. Uh, Colts at Buffalo. What is that? Who does everyone have in this game? Colts at Buffalo. I don't know what the line is or anything like that, but maybe Buffalo minus a touchdown, perhaps something like that. You want to have any early-ish predictions? Only Tuesday, but... Cascade says Buffalo. Buffalo! Colts are... Or Bills are minus six and a half. Definitely Buffalo, everyone's saying. Well, if I'm a betting man, and I am, I might take the point. I think that game might be closer than you think. I'm tempted to take the points, plus six and a half. Buffalo kind of gives up points here and there. Their their defense isn't as as strong as people think. John says Colts by a field goal. That's bold. I don't know if they're going to actually win. But Colts by a field goal is pretty bold. But 
Yeah, Buffalo does a lot. Of that that's what I'm saying. Buffalo does a lot of, allow a lot of points, but they can score a lot of points too. That's kind of the scary thing. What about Rams at Seahawks? This might be a boring game. Rams at Seahawks. Seahawks are minus four at home in Seattle. Well, yeah, if you're taking the Colts, that's what you're hoping, right, Robert? You got to think that the Colts have a pretty solid defense. You, you got to hope that their defense slows them down a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if uh, I don't know if the Colts are going to win, but I think it might be sharp if that line creeps up to maybe seven and a half. Plus seven and a half for the Colts. That could be really interesting. Goff, I don't know. Yeah, Goff's got a broken thumb. And it seems like recent press conferences, they don't. McVay doesn't seem to coach Sean McVay for the Los Angeles Rams doesn't seem to be too, too bullish about, does not, or he, I guess rather he is bearish about Goff coming back. He's kind of evasive is what's happening. He's not really giving the answers. Yeah, I know Seahawks struggle at covering, but if John Wolford is out there, I don't know. How much of a difference is Wolford from Goff? I guess that's the question. Seahawks' defense has has looked a lot better, better in the last few games. Where are the where are the color blasts? How often do these did Jason do one of these last night? How often do these fall? Color blasts. Her cousin's going to a NFC North. That'll be for David, along with all those uh, Justin Jeffersons as well. These are all the, the white borders are all that commons, right? Most of them. Uh, kabooms, that is. Sorry. Not color blast, kabooms. Thanks, Cascade. How often do those do these fall? Another two for the AFC East, Keanu. Rough finish for their season, but future looks bright, I want to say. I think Jason did a five. Oh, no kabooms from yesterday, Robert saying. No, the, these uh, these absolute footballs come from a twenty box case. So Jason did the first five. I'm doing another five. And I think we got another two breaks from the same case. Another Jalen Hurts for the NFC East. Brian Croft. Another Joe Burrow for the AFC North. That'll be for Cam. All of these will add up. I think someone was, maybe John T. was asking about John, T, another John T., Jonathan Taylor, who I think had a pretty good game last week. Or it's been looking pretty good last few games. Whether he's an investment piece or not, maybe if you think he's going to do well in the playoffs. Let me buy low on that Jonathan Taylor. And see if he blows up in the playoffs, his cards would skyrocket. There's a green foil, Justin Herbert for the AFC West. Jose for the AFC West. Yeah, I 
Well, speaking of Justin Herbert, Cascade is saying, got my Herbert Color Blast graded. Gem Mint 10, baby. Nice. Can't wait to get it back in hand. Ooh, that's, that sounds awesome. Congrats. Yeah, Herbert's had a pretty excellent season. There he is again. Just base Herbert this time for Jose. All right, two more of those boxes to go. About another 20 minutes or so. Um, let's take a look at the last Saturday Night Game super quick. Uh, Buccaneers at Washington. Buccaneers are the road favorites. Minus eight. I'm tempted to take Washington. Can you imagine Chase Young chasing after chasing after uh, Tom Brady disrupting him all night long? It's a primetime game too. You know how much Brady loves primetime. Old man Brady. Uh, Gavin saying Bucks all day. No NFC East team has a chance against the Bucks. Except for Washington, I think. I think Washington is the best team that especially with Chase Young. If he bothers Brady, if he disrupts Brady, that might just be enough to keep it close. I'm not saying Washington's going to win. I have a hard time believing that. But enough to kind of bother Brady, keep this a low-scoring game, disrupt his rhythm, and they get within eight points. You know, a fluke defensive play here and there. You know, a running back puts the ball on the ground for the Buccaneers. You know, Ronald Jones puts one on the ground. Chase Young scoop and score. I mean, a lot of weird things could happen here. And they're in Washington for whatever that whatever that home field advantage is worth. Probably not that much. But yeah, Montez Sweat off there too. Just to just to put Brady off enough to cover. Buccaneers should probably win, but by how much? You know, and Alex Smith is a solid professional quarterback. I know Buck's defense is pretty good, but Yeah, Vanilla Gorilla, what's up, man? Happy New Year. A B and Brady starting to click. This is true. That is scary. It definitely makes you nervous. But, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty nervous. <laughs> you know, if Chase Young and Montez Sweat are disrupting that that Bucks offensive line and ultimately disrupting Brady, that that's that's going to be a problem. Lonnie Smith is saying 17 10 bucks, which is interesting. The total is at 45. That's kind of a low total, 45. So... It, so what's that general rule of thumb? If it's a low total and you're getting a lot of points, maybe you lean points a little bit. I don't know. I'll, I'll have all of my picks locked in. Probably by Friday night. We'll talk about this on Friday some more. But these, these are just our early thoughts on a Tuesday, January 5th. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully all, all are doing well. But see, Lonnie, that's kind of what I have in my head. 17, 10 bucks. So I'm kind of a low scoring game. We'll talk more about this all week. So join our breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Join our football breaks, and we'll be chatting a lot of football all week long, all month long, all year long. So hang with us, folks. FSL, what's going on? FSL is about, excited about college baseball. We've got Jeff Akuda for the Lions, 75, NFC North, David Alsop.
Let's take a quick uh, look at the Sunday games. I kind of like these uh, wild card triple headers here. The early Sunday matchup, Ravens at Tennessee. Ravens are the road favorites, minus three. Who does everyone have? There's a green Brady right there for the NFC South. Yeah, the Saints and Bears is going to be on Nickelodeon, right? That's kind of funny. I don't know much about college hoops, I'm afraid. Couldn't answer that question. Cascade, sorry. DJ Dallas. John says Titans. John likes another uh, dog, in the home dog at Tennessee. Plus three. Uh, that Tennessee defense doesn't seem to be too convincing either. If they're if they're down, it will, if if Tennessee's down early, I think that's going to be a problem. But if Tennessee can keep it close, yeah, then maybe maybe Derrick Henry will feast. There he is right here. He is pretty good. There's Cam Akers. Oh, you, you just missed our discussion on that FSL. We broke that down earlier in the break. Yeah, Eminent sold out already. That was crazy. That'll be on one of our first breaks of the day on Friday. All right, here's another Justin Herbert. AFC West, Jose. Uh, Randy, as it says in the in the uh, schedule, well, you should just check the schedule. It'll it'll say there. Uh, for some reason, that team was sold twice, Nick. That's why you got a refund on that. But no, Randy, we won't be getting any more eminence until we do. But for now, no. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Nick. Yeah, for, I don't know why the, the, that team sold twice. But it was already it was already spoken for. At first, I thought the person who bought it got a refund, but they did not. Maybe, uh, maybe we accidentally added two in the inventory for that particular team. Sorry about that. That's usually what happens when that happens. All right, um, the middle game on Sunday, Bears at Saints. Saints are laying 10. I mean, it's hard to... I want to take... I want to take the Bears at plus 10. That just seems like a whole lot of points, especially with that Bears defense. But You think there's a Saints curse and it's going to be Bears? FSL says Bears no problem in that game. Is there a Saints? I guess, man, I guess there maybe is a Saints curse. I think people are I think people are overvaluing the Bears a great deal. But really they, they beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 47 41 to 17. Okay. I think they only barely beat Minnesota who's not a very good team 33 to 27. You know, they cruised against a bad Houston team 36 to 7 and lost to a bad Lions team 34 to 30. 
the last playoff team they played was the Green Bay uh, Packers, and they lost 35-16. I think that might be the closer score line. 35-16, just like that Green Bay game. They beat your Bucks. Well, that, that was that was a little while ago, wasn't it? I'm talking about the, re, the last five games, I think, are a little more of an indication. Another Justin Herbert for the FC West, Jose. There's Brady right there. Chase Claypool. Right, yeah, the Tampa Bay is different. is is a much different team from from back then. And they're ju they're just they're just clicking a lot better. I think they should be able to beat Washington, but I think it might be somewhat uncomfortably close for Tampa Bay. I would I want to say. All right, and if the final quick look at the last game. Browns at Steelers. Steelers are minus six. That's got a, That's the one where I'm pretty comfortable taking the Steelers minus six. Right? I think they got. They still have some wide receivers either banged up or coming off of COVID. You know, the co coach is going to be out for the game. Head coach. It's going to be out for the game, which was kind of silly. Maybe locking that minus six before it, it creeps higher. Joe Burrow. Remember, it's only vet commons that don't ship. All the rookie cards will be shipping. All right, well, FSL is saying Tampa Bay is going to the Super Bowl. Who do you think they're going to see in the Super Bowl? These kabooms must have, must be really short printed. I'm not seeing anything here. Tampa Bay Buffalo. Buffalo is going to get past the Chiefs. That's interesting. Another one for the AFC North Cam. Justin Larson says Green Bay, Kansas City. That would be awesome. Patrick Mahomes versus. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. It's definitely a matchup I would love to see. There's Nick Chubb. He's going to have to do a lot of work this weekend. The Browns want to have a chance at winning. I have to say though, I th I think if we look at look if we look at Vegas and AFC versus NFC, it has to be AFC minus three, right? Any AFC team minus three, minus two and a half. I think whatever AFC team gets in, 
if they make it all the way, to, if they battle all the way to the Super Bowl, I think they're beating any NFC team. Yeah, Justin Larson, I'm saying that I, I don't know if it's going to be easy for Tampa Bay in Washington. I, they should win. I think they should win. But, but I, th I, th I think that game might be uncomfortably close for Tampa Bay fans. After they clear that hurdle, I think they should be in pretty good shape. But we'll see. We're going to talk more about football all week long, ladies and gentlemen. So join us on jazbeescasebreaks.com. No kabooms here, boys and girls. Nothing crazy, but we got some Jalen Hurts's, some Tua's, some Joe Burrows, some Herberts, some Burrows, some Jalen, some Justins. So we got some of these quarterbacks here. All right, for the AFC East, AFC West, and the AFC North. But no, uh, no kaboom. So the search continues. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.